Hello and welcome to Two Minute NLP. Today's topic is eye accessing. What we mean by this is what can the movement of a person's eyes tell us about what's going on inside their mind. For example, if they look up or they look down, if they look to the left or if they look to the right. And how can we use this information to help them to make changes? Let's take an example. Let's suppose you see somebody and they're looking down to their right. They're looking down to their right, perhaps they look a little bit thoughtful. In terms of the NLP model, we'd say they're accessing a feeling. The feeling could be a sensation or it could be emotional. They look down to their right. If you're facing them, that's your left. They access a feeling. In contrast, if somebody looks down and to their left, so if you're facing them, they look down to their left, that's going to be on your right, we'd say they're accessing a different way. In fact, we'd say, in terms of NLP, they are accessing an internal conversation. self so they have a conversation inside their head, they're making a commentary about what's going on around them, or perhaps about the past or the future, what they should have done, what they have to do, whatever it might be. So how do we use this information in change work? To talk about that, we're going to have the help of our good friend, Greta, Greta the Great, who's going to explore her fear of penguins to help us understand on a deeper level. So if you have a client, and in this case she has a fear of penguins, we want to try and understand how she's doing that fear, how she's making herself afraid of penguins. So we might ask her, when was the last time and place you saw a penguin? And then we might watch where Greta's eyes go to. In this case, they move up to the left terms of the NLP model means she's accessing a picture, in this case a picture of a penguin, and we see that she does that, the fear on her face, the fear is attached to the picture, we call that synesthesia. So the picture may have sound attached, but may have a feeling attached, in this case it's a feeling, and the feeling is fear. Now, if you've taken your client into a negative state, in this case a state of fear, it's a good idea to break that state back into a neutral state before we help them to change, before we help them to find a resource. So we can ask them something which is irrelevant to the problem. The, um, the classical thing is, is that the sound of popcorn takes them into a different sensory mode. Now, we've talked about look up to the left, that's a picture from memory. What happens if they look up to the right? So in this case, we're asking Greta to imagine her front door being painted green. It's not something she's seen, it's something she would have to imagine. In this case, she looks up and to the right. This is where we find pictures which we have created inside our mind. Again, the picture may have a sound attached, and may have got a feeling attached. In this case, it's got a feeling of confusion. She's confused by the sight of her front door being painted green. Now, it's really important to know that this model, down right, is, is feelings, down left is self-talk, up left is a memory and visual, up right is a, a future memory, if you will. These depend upon the person. Everyone is different. If you want more information, you can contact us at any of the contact details you see on the screen. Have a great day.